never know when you're going to need one. So uh, anyway, uh, we were just talking to Chuck and Chuck wants me to demonstrate the meat grinder for y'all. It's old, it's old, been around a long time so I know to a lot of you it's going to be old news but but let's go ahead and since I got this guy here, come on out here Eric. And uh, came all the way to Oklahoma for just just to get it. <laughs> He paid just to go through this. No. Go ahead and have a seat there. All right, now, uh, we, we can, I, I like to pretend a lot because it's a lot easier on me than actually throwing somebody and getting down here. Uh, I don't know if y'all, uh, forget your name again. Drew. Me and Drew was doing a little grappling over here last night. And that's what I like about judo, man. It keeps it real. I found out I'm old <laughs> and out of shape. But we had fun, I think, and I'm sore as hell. I don't know, he's a young man, he probably don't even feel it, but I feel like I went through the meat grinder myself. <laughs> Let's turn, what's your best angle? Anywhere? Okay. Okay, so, so like if you threw somebody down, and uh, I, actually I learned this from Carl, so, and there's more to it now than just this basic part, but we're gonna keep it basic. And uh, like if you threw somebody down, you get rolling around, you, you're trying to get this choke on somebody and stuff. Well, you remember I told you the optimal place to choke somebody is when their head falls into the choke zone. That's where his head or his neck lines up between the bottom, the top of my shoulder blade and my midsection right here. Okay, well obviously if he's way up here and he's struggling with me, that ain't gonna happen. And if I try to get my hand to start choking, he's not gonna just lay here and give me that, you know. So what you what you do is, like you might start here, I like right handed stuff, so I might start here trying to just control him, but I really wanna get that right hand on him. And he's gonna reach up and start trying to pull that choke. And like, uh, I'll let him have that, cause I don't want that anyway. So you're gonna have to wrap your legs up on him. So if he does roll over, you got, you got, still got a hold of it. As soon as he pulls that hand down, I'm gonna hang on a little bit, let him pull it down. Then when he pulls it down here, I'll just put my feet out so you can see. I'm gonna let him get down, so he's helping me get this hand down. Then you don't wanna push it up here, too much power. You'll wear yourself out. Keep it right here at the wrist, kinda like the uh, movements that you use in Aikido. A lot, lot better leverage here. And all you're gonna do, is that he's helping you now, is you're gonna let him pull and then you're gonna push that hand down and trap it right in here. All right, now you got your pretty good start because he can't do a whole lot of nothing from here. All right, so from here, we'll do this part first and then I'll show you how to put the rest of it together. But right now, once you get the feel of sitting here, you start, like if you're, if you're right handed, it's easier to learn it right handed. You can do it either hand, it doesn't matter. But I'll grab him with the, with the left hand so that when he pulls it down, it's on the right side here. And then he's trying to pull my hand down. And you let him pull it, go ahead and pull it, pull my hand down. And let him pull, let him pull. He thinks he's winning. And then you do it. But you may have to cup this up here like that so he can't get a good sight of what's going on. All right, see how I do that? I'm not holding, I'm not choking like this. Just using that little cup of the hand right there. You get it, get it right in there like you're gonna choke. Pull it to you and up, roll it up like that. He can tell you that's not a comfortable place to be right there. All right, so let's practice that for just a second, and then uh, we'll move on. What I'd like to do, so he can practice with somebody, let him get with somebody. Uh, where is uh, Greg still here? Oh, you had to go? Okay, you want to work with me? Here you go. Everybody grab your partner and just practice that little portion of it right there. Like that, and this is getting shut off. It, it takes your mind off of getting that out, don't it? Because it, what it is, it's a natural instinct to survive, air. We all need air. All right? 
Ain't that true? So what happens is, is uh, they, they, they go into that fight, fight or flight syndrome. Even if they're trained. If they're trained, they know they're not going to get choked real soon like this. But man, if you got the adrenaline pumping, you, you air it out, say like we was yesterday, you don't have a lot of time to play. Remember when aerobics first started, them ladies be going like this. Hold, and they knocked herself out just holding two fingers up here. Yeah, there was someone passed out just on one side. So what you're doing is the same thing, just a little different. It's all in the grappling kind of situation. Like this right here, just kind of digging it up under the jump. You can do whatever works. I, I just mainly want to be sure I get the hook in there. Once I get that, it's harder for him to slide his head loose. You know, and, and I do a lot of no gi stuff too down down in Raleigh, so. You know. Go ahead and tuck that foot up on up behind his back there, or on his butt. Yeah, whatever's comfortable to you. There you go. Feel that? Makes a lot makes a lot more secure. I wonder why kept him from pulling It's easy to do. So you're gonna tuck here like this and bring that thing in tight, see? Right. Now you could still get that thing out of there, right? Just yeah. like that. Now, watch this. Once I bring that in here, mm -hmm. and I'll take that here, yeah. that takes away your desire to pull that out, don't it? Go ahead, and, go ahead and pull. But then you run into the next next part of the meat grinder. Ah. I'm going to let you have that. Okay. Okay? So I'm going to lock this up here. And then we'll show you here. And then we're going to go in to the big time. There you go. Right? Huh? Is it's kind of like you're getting your foot caught in a meat grinder. Pretty soon it sucks your foot in there, then your knees. It's kind of like transition, transition, transition. And you walk into the next thing, so you expect everything to fail. Against a good athlete, it's going to fail. You cannot hold a good athlete very long. So as failure takes place, you position your next move. Yeah, and they might give they might give up there. You might actually get that choke real well, and they'll give up at that point. So you've got like three or four areas where you could yeah. sleep in the fight. Yeah, sure. Let me walk down, check everybody else out a little bit. Y'all got this? I think so. Do it, do it slow. Do it slow. Don't worry about going fast. Tuck that foot up underneath you. Get it, pull it back to you. There you go. Tuck it in deep. Roll him over a little bit if you have to. There you go. Now. Do you feel like that holds you a little bit better, buddy? You held better? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I'm starting to lose hope. Yes. <laughs> okay. Back down. I'm pulling down. Hook the leg. Yeah. Be sure. Uh, do the. Do the Start the pull down again. Do the pull down. Now take that. Can I get you for a second? Sure. Critique, you get a choke. Tuck that foot up underneath his back. Underneath him. There you go. What y'all got going, boy? Uh, well, we were talking about how to choke from the rear like that. Uh -huh. what, what I'm feeling is a lot. Yeah, you shouldn't feel it there. Okay. It's right now. It's right okay. here. And we're trying, I'm trying to adjust, figure out, and I don't Okay, let problem. me sit down behind you. Okay. <laughs> My thing fell off. Hang on. I never was good with this kind of stuff here. All right. So the main thing, when you get, see how I dig this right here yep. from the side? That's where you're going to choke anyway. Okay. So if I was doing a rear, rear naked strangle on you, come and see. It's easy, right? Yeah. It's all crushed. It's all crushed right now. We're right there. I'm doing the side. And that's what I want him to feel. All right? But I, like I said, I, I'll set it up on this side to start with. You got him here. You pull him to the side. That's the main thing you're trying to do here is pull him to the side. Now, when he reaches up to pull that off, I'm going to let him pull. When he gets down there a little bit where I can stuff this, I'm going to stuff that and roll it up under his back. All right, feel that? Now you're now you're contained. This thing doesn't work well. <laughs> Not when you're doing jokes. 
All right. And you always want to position that neckline between the midsection and the top of your shoulder blade. So if he moves there, that's fine. If he doesn't move there, you may have to adjust your body to get there for a consistent choke. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I want to watch. No, not on, not on front. Go around to all the way deep. Go around to the there. You go more deeper. More deeper. There you go. Now pull him to the, pull his head to the side. There you go. Now take this when he pulls it down. Stuff it up. Now stick that under him. There you go. You feel the difference? <laughs> you feel a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it, tight, it tightens up differently. And being choked is not a comfortable <laughs> place to be. Yeah. I felt a little <laughs> I feel bad till I do it back. Y'all good? Okay. Go ahead. Before you do that, before you do that, you want to secure that, that head and that choke. There you go. Now roll it up to you. Here, roll your hand this way. Ah, okay. Dig it in, roll it that way, and pull it to you. And now grab his collar. So you could almost choke right from there. You see, remember when they used to do the aerobics thing and the ladies would be dancing and timing herself well, and holding two fingers here for their pulse? There were some people that knocked herself out just holding one side. <laughs> so you can choke from one side too, it just takes longer. <laughs> You want to be here, right? So right. Let's, right. Let's, let's, let me come back. Julie, no, Julie knows all this. She's been through it all. Let's get to hear it step by step again. Yeah. So yeah. ready for the next Yeah. yeah. All right, Mate, Mate. Uh, see, old, old guys can't hear no more either. <laughs> old, old guys can't even hear no more, can they? Come on, man, let's break up. You get to work with him in a minute. Sorry, sir. Come on, Eric. And, and now... That's the very, very first step of a meat grinder. Now, some people have questions, and they're good, valid questions. Go ahead and have a seat about this control issue. Uh, some people don't feel like. <laughs> Let me get sit down here. I tried not fall on you. All right. There we go. Some people have valid questions. Go ahead and pull it. One of the things you want to do first before I do that is some people are going for this collar right away. I always get control first by getting this first. See, I hook that, stick that thumb on the side of the neck, not in the front. Stick it on the side and roll it up until your shoulder right here. Then I grab my collar. At this point, I've tightened it up fairly decent. And when he pulls this down, I tuck this under. I'm gonna tuck it under here. now. Uh, two, two people had a question about getting the elbow out. Eventually, once he starts struggling enough, he will get that elbow out. But hopefully, you'll get him right here. See, it'll be, it'll be not, lights out. But if you don't get him there, you got two options. If he starts pulling that arm out, you can come to the underside of the collar here. And you got the choke again. And it's a good one. But if you try to come to the other side of the collar and he's, you're not getting a choke, it's not going off right. All you do is reach up, cup your gi right here. All right. Now you got control because you're not just holding this loose. You're, you're tightening everything up there. And you're going to shove his head to the side. Swing your body right over here. And that'll be the next move. <laughs> All you're gonna do is slip into Jujikatami from the side, just like that. All right, so with your partner, you, you expect it to fail. A good athlete's not gonna hold still. Everything that you're doing is not gonna hold still forever. 
expect failure. If you expect failure, you got a game plan for it, you'll eventually have success. All right, so let's practice with our partner a little bit. Let me, uh, let me take, okay. First situation is to control that head first, here. And you get, then you get the collar. All right, he comes up to pull it off. You give him a little assistance there. And then you tuck in this in here and then up under him. Oh, that thing, that thing don't come off. All right, now from here, you might get the choke right here. Feel that? Yes, sir. All right. But if I'm up here high and, and his, his head goes in the wrong place, that choke's not as effective here. Uh -huh. So when I drop him down that choke zone, I got me a choke going on. All right. Now, if he starts pulling it loose, you're going to come over underneath the arm, go for the choke again. Feel that? Yes, sir. But if he starts coming loose and rolling over, all you want to do is hook this to your lapel. To your own lapel? Yeah. Yes. And then you push him on the side of the head here. And you're coming over. Set up the jujitsu time. Alright. Okay. You want to do it to make sure you can observe? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shove his head over there. Okay, you got it. <laughs> I'll show you one of the quickest options where you don't really have to do a lot and you can put a stop to it quick. Now remember, if you're playing with your partners, you're having fun in the dojo, be kind to each other. In the street, it's a different environment. Or the military, or police work. When you first start this thing, remember how I told you to control the, the neck first, right? Well, if you're gonna put it on somebody and, and you're not being nice to them, you take the, the hand and you just pop them, bam, right here, it gets them coming over. Now, once you get them here like this, you, you know you want he's gonna come up with that hand, but before he comes up, you might end it right here. So holding this together. Applying that choke right there. If you can do that, that's powerful choke, people can tell you. But if not, he gets your hand, you go into the routine. Bam, here, come back to this. Let me get his gear, I forgot to get the gear. All right, you come to this, he gets his hand coming loose. You come underneath, you got the same choke again. And then that ain't working, he's starting to roll over. Let him roll. Bam. Yeah. And there's, there's uh, more to this series that I can show you as, as we move along. But for right now, that's, that's enough, I think. Don't you? <laughs> that's enough to work with? Okay. I think, I think.